Uh, hi everybody, uh, welcome to our presentation. Uh, this is Doğan Yüksel. I'm a faculty member at Koca University of Turkey. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, a paper that I co-authored with Mehmet Altay uh, from Koca University of Turkey. We work together. Uh, the uh, title of our presentation is The Difficulties of English uh, Academic Language Skills uh, in Two Divisions. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy our presentation. Um, here we go. Uh, in the presentation, uh, we examined uh, the relationship between perceived difficulties of English academic language skills and uh, academic success uh, in EAP courses uh, in a Turkish higher education setting. Uh, we were particularly interested in the differences uh, in two divisions. Uh, the mathematical, physical, and life sciences, and the social sciences. Uh, we chose uh, one academic subject uh, from uh, each uh, division uh, to discuss our differences. The relationship between perceived difficulties and academic success uh, has been explored recently uh, in some different contexts. Uh, in EMI settings, also considering the impact of uh, EAP courses. However, not many studies investigated the discipline-based differences in terms of perceived difficulties of English academic language skills and uh, their relationship with academic success. So uh, with our study, we are hoping to contribute uh, to the literature. Uh, Discipline-based differences uh, is one of the focus points, is the major focus point of our study. And uh, there are some previous research reporting uh, uh, the perceptions of lecturers uh, in different disciplines. Uh, one of these studies, uh, Dearden and Macro's 2016 study, uh, compared the perceptions of lecturers in three countries, namely Austria, Italy, and uh, Poland. Uh, the researchers found that lecturers teaching science and maths uh, relied on formula, uh, thought that teaching uh, through English was easy, and they were less concerned with language issues compared to uh, their uh, uh, peers, uh, their uh, fellow teachers in the social sciences uh, programs. Uh, root of study uh, based in, uh, in the Spanish setting uh, compared uh, the uh, views of the lecturers uh, from two broad divisions, uh, namely STEM and humanities. Uh, she found that uh, there were no differences uh, in terms of content and language focus when teaching their EMI courses. Uh, the previous uh, study that we mentioned, the Erden and uh, Macro study, uh, found uh, some uh, differences uh, in terms of the language focus, but uh, Ruth Hall's study uh, didn't uh, find any difference uh, in the Spanish setting. However, uh, in Ruth Hall's study, uh, humanities lecturers uh, were somehow stricter uh, in terms of uh, using the first language in class, while STEM lecturers uh, were not so uh, picky about the uh, use of the first language uh, in the classroom. Uh, so the main difference uh, in, in the Spanish setting uh, was the use of the first language. Uh, in terms of EAP success and uh, difficulties relationship, uh, some previous studies have found that uh, students need to be competent in some certain language areas and skills uh, to be able to cope with academic demands. And uh, earlier uh, research uh, uh, focused on the indirect measures and uh, participant self-reports of their academic performance uh, in, uh, in their English medium instruction studies. Uh, however, recent research uh, has shown that academic language skills uh, is an important predictor of uh, success uh, in various settings. 
uh, in the uh, Japanese setting, uh, uh, Aizawa used ESP success as a tool of language proficiency and found that academic language skills operationalized as ESP success is a predictor of academic success, EMI success, uh, in the Japanese uh, setting. Uh, linguistic challenges uh, have been um, reported in many uh, different settings. Uh, and then uh, the review of the previous research would show us that they are very context specific. Uh, the most often cited challenge uh, in EMI context is uh, the student's insufficient English language proficiency, uh, which might have some uh, detrimental consequences on students' learning. Uh, in terms of uh, different language learning skills, uh, several studies have uh, mentioned uh, different aspects of uh, uh, linguistic challenges. Uh, for example, in terms of reading skills, uh, unfamiliar technical terms in the corpus books uh, uh, have been mentioned. In terms of speaking, uh, the inability to produce spontaneous speech uh, or to carry out interaction uh, has been mentioned. Uh, in terms of listening, uh, many uh, students report uh, that they cannot follow uh, their uh, lecturer's accents. And in terms of writing, uh, students lacked a competence of uh, suitable academic style uh, in their writing assignments. So uh, we can see that qualitatively uh, many uh, uh, challenges and difficulties have been mentioned. Uh, building on uh, previous research on perceived difficulties of English academic language skills, uh, in our study uh, we uh, focused on the following research questions. Uh, the first research question uh, had two uh, components. Uh, in the first one, we wanted to examine which language skills are perceived to be difficult by students in mechatronics engineering and uh, international relations programs, uh, one from the social sciences and another from the engineering uh, program. And uh, we want to understand which uh, uh, skills uh, were perceived to be more difficult. And then uh, the second part of the first research question focused on how uh, do the perceptions of um, mechatronics engineering students compare with uh, those of their international relations counterparts. Uh, so we had a comparison, a difference focus here. Uh, in our second research question, we assumed that uh, both uh, students in mechatronics engineering and international relations programs uh, will have some certain language difficulties. Uh, and uh, we were uh, specifically interested uh, in if uh, these difficulties predict uh, our students' participants' academic achievements uh, in their EAP courses uh, during their studies. Uh, the setting uh, of our study uh, was a, a public university in Turkey uh, with, studies, uh, with students studying uh, in a multilingual EMI program. Uh, we had two academic subjects, mechatronics engineering and international relations. Uh, when we say multilingual, we mean that students uh, can take some of their courses in their home language and uh, some other courses in English. Uh, this is also called partial EMI uh, and it's compared with full EMI where students have to take all courses uh, in English. In this specific setting, students were required to take a minimum of two courses, two EMI courses, two courses in English uh, per semester. Uh, the university was one of the major public universities in Turkey with more than 50,000 students. Uh, the university offered uh, 13 uh, EMI academic subjects across uh, the science, engineering and economics faculties. Uh, the participants uh, of our study were uh, fourth-year students uh, studying in mechatronics engineering and international relations uh, programs. Uh, we had uh, 68 students in the mechatronics engineering and then 50, uh, 65 students 
in international relations programs. Uh, all participants were native speakers of Turkish and uh, they had studied English as a foreign language uh, in an intensive English program, like a pre-sessional program, uh, before uh, starting their academic degree programs. Uh, the participants' age range was between 21 and 27 uh, in the mechatronics engineering program and then 21 and 28 uh, in the uh, international relations program. <clears throat> we had uh, three data collection tools uh, in uh, our study. Uh, we uh, collected the grades uh, into the, the different departments and they were based on two semesters of AAP courses. Uh, and then uh, as a scale, uh, we used Bergman and Chang's uh, EAP needs uh, survey measuring the difficulties in four skills and academic world. So we had five main areas of language skills, uh, carrying out academic work, reading, listening, speaking, and writing uh, were the uh, main areas. Um, uh, for the first research question, uh, we had descriptive statistics and t-test uh, for the comparison of uh, two academic divisions. And uh, for our second research question, we carried out uh, linear uh, regressions. Uh, to answer uh, our uh, first research question, uh, we want to see uh, which uh, uh, skills were uh, more difficult. <clears throat> according to uh, the students uh, in the engineering program. And then uh, writing uh, was the most difficult, uh, according to the students' responses. And uh, carrying out academic work uh, was the least difficult <coughs> uh, in the engineering group. Uh, in the social sciences group, uh, speaking uh, was the most uh, difficult. Uh, skill and again uh, carrying out academic work uh, was perceived to be uh, the least difficult. <clears throat> when we look at the uh, differences and when we uh, examined uh, <clears throat> if the differences uh, were significant, uh, we found that uh, the, diffic the difficulties <clears throat> students uh, faced in engineering and social sciences programs, uh, the difference was uh, difficult. Uh, the difference was significant. Uh, to answer our uh, second research question, uh, we ran to a uh, simple linear regression analysis, uh, and uh, we wanted to see if uh, the challenges uh, predicted. Uh, EAP course course, and uh, as uh, you can see, at uh, various uh, uh, significant uh, levels, uh, the uh, challenges uh, predicted uh, EAP course grades. Uh, so uh, the challenges uh, were related with uh, the EAP course grades uh, in the uh, 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 engineering programs. And similarly, in the social sciences, again with varying degrees, uh, all challenges predicted and the EAP uh, success uh, in the social sciences. <clears throat> so uh, we can say that uh, the challenges uh, and the uh, EAP course grades uh, were somehow related. Uh, in terms of the conclusion, uh, we saw that uh, uh, descriptive statistics uh, reveals that uh, social sciences students uh, in the international relations program had higher levels of uh, perceived difficulties in terms of uh, English language skills. <coughs> T-test analysis showed that the difference was significant, and uh, regression analysis revealed that in both divisions, uh, language difficulties in all aspects uh, predicted the participants' academic achievements uh, in EAP courses. Uh, so that's like a, a brief summary of our uh, results. Uh, and uh, in terms of the discussion, uh, we saw that social science students had significantly higher levels of difficulties uh, compared to engineering students. Uh, 
and this can be explained by the expectations of the uh, teachers. Uh, teachers in science and math subjects uh, relied on formula, uh, thought that teaching through English was easy, and uh, they were less concerned with the language issues. So uh, uh, students in the engineering programs uh, didn't really think that or compared to their uh, uh, counterparts in the uh, uh, social sciences, uh, didn't uh, think that uh, the language was a big challenge uh, for them. Uh, and uh, language difficulties in all aspects predicted the participants' academic achievements in the AP courses. Uh, in the literature review, we had mentioned that AMI students' challenges often stem from their uh, insufficient academic English skills and uh, all four skills uh, together with uh, carrying out academic work uh, in our study uh, predicted uh, EP success. So uh, we can say that students face uh, quite challenging uh, tasks uh, in each skill and uh, those uh, difficulties are uh, somehow related with their English language proficiency. And uh, here are uh, our select differences, uh, which would focus on the challenges in general, and also uh, some discipline-based differences. Uh, we are really uh, thankful to you uh, for uh, listening to our uh, presentation, and uh, we'd be happy uh, to answer uh, uh, your questions or uh, hear your comments. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I hope uh, the conference will be uh, good for uh, everybody, including us. Bye-bye.